Hell takes the snap, back to pass, looking right, he's got re three receivers out there, it's intercepted by Chris Coyne at the 20 yard line, that pass never should have been thrown by Cornell. Basilio alone in the backfield, now Gal coming across the line, takes the snap, looking to run right, dives towards the goal line, he is in, touchdown! And here is the kick, it is blocked! It is blocked by Keith Galvin, he jumps on it at the 29 yard line! As we see Santiago Cuertas coming on for his third field goal of the game. This would be a big one to make it 16-0. The snap, the spot, the kick on the way. Doesn't have the distance into the wind. Good! Basilio in the shotgun gets a snap. Pitch to Burke. Gets another good block from the outside. Down the sideline. There goes Ryan Burke into Richfield territory. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Staples! Basilio in the shotgun once again with Gao to his right. Rolling to his right. Gao gets a block on Tommy Jordan. Renko the one-handed catch. Staying in bounds. What a great play by Brendan Renkowitz. Basilio takes the snap. Bobbles it. Under pressure now. And he twirls out of it. Running to his right. And he finds Murray. Murray. There he goes into the end zone. Touchdown Staples. Brandon Basilio doing his best impersonation of Eli Manning from the Super Bowl a few years ago. Gets out of trouble and finds Murray for the five-yard score. One more play to preserve the shutout. Hand off Archeo, and did he get in? He was stuffed, he was stuffed. Jake Santora makes the play, and Richfield turns over on downs. The Staples Wreckers preserve the shutout as they look to put it in victory formation with three seconds left. One more thing for the Staples Wreckers to accomplish in this game, and they did it. They do not let Richfield score, and it is Staples Wreckers that has proved themselves to be one of the elite teams in the FCI.